Action. Okay, people, today we're trying Eagle Rare Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. And if it's funny, I mean, this is made by one of the best uh, whiskey companies on the planet, Buffalo Trace. <laughs> so let's read the preamble or the, the synopsis or the story on the back. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. <laughs> or the happiness, I don't know. The cornerstones of the birth of a nation, epitomized by the American bald eagle. That nation has come to represent the freedom and spirit, spirit, freedom of spirit and independence of the individuals, giving the world products and innovations that are uniquely its own. One such innovation was Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Early Kentucky settlers created bourbon, the true American spirit in the late 1700s. Are you sure it's Kentucky? <laughs> or, or you know it's not New Orleans. <laughs> um, by practice, I'm in Louisiana, and or Tennessee, <laughs> and uh, protection by law, no other distilled spirit adheres to the standards, like a bottled in bond, as strict as those established for Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. And few other whiskeys can offer even a glimpse of the great whiskey. How can you make Kentucky Street Bourbon Whiskey in Louisiana or Tennessee? Because it's from Kentucky. That's how stupid I am. <laughs> so a few other whiskeys can offer a glimpse of the great whiskey making found in Eagle Rare. Eagle Rare 10-year-old Kentucky Street Bourbon Whiskey has a sweet, oaky nose, full, and full, complex body, reminiscent of fine port wine. This rare whiskey is best served neat or over ice. Of course, feel free to drink Eagle Rare in such classic cocktails as a Manhattan or Whiskey Sour. Age 10 years. And this is, I believe it's doing at the top of my head shelf. Was it 90 proof, 45% alcohol? I think that's what it is. Let's see. Let's see. Yes, 45% alcohol, 90 proof. And now we're going to try to open the Rare Eagle. Eagle Rare by Buffalo Trace. And, you know, all the Buffalo Traces I've had are pretty great. <laughs> Store in the regular off the shelf. Fair price. How much does it cost? 35 40 bucks. Good price. We well, you know what I did. And I heard that a lot of people are having problems finding it in certain areas. Okay. For the people that can't find it, you're going to try it. Good for me. There's a little bit for you. Tell me when. Yeah, so if you had to pick between Buffalo Trace or um, Wild Turkey, who do you think makes the better cheap ones? Uh, I'm about to go with. Smells fantastic. Buffalo Trace. Smells fantastic. I think like so. Like bubble too. gum. Like, exactly. Like bubble gum. Exactly. Like straight bubble gum, like a Hubble bubble. Straight smell like a bubble gum. That's really what it smells like. <laughs> yeah, but the wild turkey is great, bro. I can't front. Yeah. They're cheaper. For, who's the better bang for the buck? Better bang for the buck. Wild turkey. Uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah. My, I can't. Other than bubble gum. I pick I up some woody, woody, woody oak. Yeah, we both, that's the same thing. I said woody oak. I get that. That bubble gum. Yeah, just, the bubble gum. Just... And woody oak. That's what I got too. It's crazy. Same thing. A little bit of spice comes out, but mostly bubble gum. It smells great. That's all I can say. Yeah. Okay, this is it. one I want to hang out with smelling. I want up my nose a lot. Yeah, this, this is a good cologne. Yeah. yeah. That bubble gum. <laughs> it's a good cologne. Yeah, that's so funny. Hey, where, where do you get your Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey from? Louisiana, then it ain't Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. It's Louisiana Straight Bourbon Whiskey. No, no, it was Kentucky Straight. <laughs> I had to make those jokes. Or it's Tennessee Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Do any other state make Straight Bourbon Whiskey? Or, you know, I can only, because only, I don't know, I gotta look it up. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Sounds good. I'm a new. Let us know. Very good. What are you geniuses out there? Cheers. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's good. I like it. You see, this is something yeah, I can say. Yeah, yeah, this is good. There's something I can say after trying other drinks outside of whiskey. Nothing like, see, whiskey is a challenge. 
it's like that the complexity it's like whoa it hits you with the strength of it but the flavors are so unique that you want to go back and try to separate the notes and the flavors and the taste and the palate and you will see how it tastes in your mouth yeah you know man it's good really and good. i had you know i had this before yeah but i don't remember it spelling this good yeah, it's good it's really good Ooh. Yeah, it's really good. And this is another one that straight tastes stronger than what it is. It tastes stronger. I, I wouldn't think that it was only 90 proof by the taste of it. It tastes yeah, way like stronger. You, you, it tastes like it's like one something. So yeah, it tastes way stronger. Oh, man, it's good. I'll give you a score right now. Normally, we get this a straight eight for me. I don't know about you. You probably go higher because you always jump on me. But I would have said... I'll give it an 8.1. 8. Okay, well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> this is an 8. This is an 8 for me. Because I'm trying not to hold back. And I'm giving it the goodness that it deserves. Because I always want to say 7.5 when I know it's an 8. But it is an 8. This is good. Uh, this is this is a very, very, very shareable. Shareable. I really don't want to give it to people because it's too good for you. You know? You know, if somebody says they like Kavasi, I'm like, no, nah, you can't have none of this. This isn't too strong for you. If somebody wants to make a Manhattan, I'm going to say, no, nah, baby. Uh, let me go get you uh, something else. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let, me, let me go get you some Charles Goodnight. Sorry. I'm going to get you a blade and bowl. <laughs> you make your mixed drinks with that. <laughs> but this one, no, you got to drink it neat. Can I just drink this? This is good. It's real good. The price, man. Some of these is killing it for the price. This is killing some of these stuff that's you know, a hundred dollars and stuff. Man, it's good. It's better to go cheaper. I think if you can. Spicy. Slight, slight, slight caramel, a little bit brown sugar taste. I don't really taste the vanilla ish, but somebody else might. Don't taste it. I don't know what sour mash tastes like, but I always want to say I can taste a little bit of them sour mash. I don't know what it tastes like though. That's what I think. It's good. It's really good. Got the spider legs. Only thing if you want to see the spider legs, spider man. <laughs> yeah, I'll start coming down. Yeah, it's good, man. I like it. Mm. Just makes me just want to go out and kiss somebody. <laughs> Say, do I taste like buffalo? <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah. Am I rare eco for you, baby? <laughs> do you love America? <laughs> Man, this is Did you know that bourbon is a drink of America? <laughs> That's what I believe. America's drink. <laughs> bourbon. <laughs> oh, it's good. It smells good. It's something... And like any other spirit, when you get the whiskey, especially bourbon, it's, it's so complex. But sort of scotches, sort of rice, sort of Japanese whiskeys. And, but bourbon, something about these bourbons, they, the spices and the, 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 the mixtures, the, the uniqueness, it's kind of rare to get two or three bourbons that taste the same. Some of them will taste like raisins. Some of them will taste more chocolatey. Some of them are going to be more uh, peanut butter nougat. And some are just like, ugh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, what the hell is this? Like, I'm, a, I'm not saying I ain't had that many uh, reviewed, but I know I've had some. I've had some. But pretty much every one I've had is about five or above. So I'm waiting for one that's like, ugh, what the hell is this? And that hasn't happened yet. Maybe it's me. But this is good. I highly recommend this. Highly. Once you get past the seven range, it's like a, a winner. It's a winner, man. You get into the eight range, which I give this. Super win for the price. This is a ten or eleven for the price. So this bottle is is really really good because I had Eagle Rare. Yep, you don't think it was this good? I don't remember it being this good. It's good, man. Buffalo Trace and a Wild Turkey is really going hand in hand for their El Cheapos. You know, like sorry to say, compared to Logic Craig Cheapos to these, 
they kill them. They, they, like, those are just good drinks. A lot of yeah. just good, but these are like, whoa, man, you got to try this. Come here. You know, it's kind of like, I'm going to go a little bit left, but not bad. It's like when you see a girl and she has a unique feature. You're like, dude, come look, 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 dude, you ain't never seen that like this. Look at that. Look. My God, you sure was right. And that, I mean, I'm not being specific, but girls probably do that to dudes. Look at that dude. Have you, you ain't never seen him like him. You sure is right. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry, people don't say that one, which, one way or the other. But this is what this is like. This is something you just got to try. You just got to see it. Like, I I love it. Like, I already understand what that means. See, I'm, I'm getting better at nonverbal cues. That means pour me some more. <laughs> you know? Could I have some more, son? Of course you can. Is that enough? Uh, for now. Oh, all right. I know what that means. You come back tomorrow, this bottle will not be here. We might be we might all the way down to the... Bottle will not be here. Right. It'll be like, you want to see... You gotta. You can't bring a seagrass bar, produce a beat. You can't... If he's here, man, I'll hold it for you. you. Come back, you can't have no more seagrass. That's like me and jack-in-the-box food when I'm loaded. <laughs> you, you can't ever have me hold your jack-in-the-box tacos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. I'll be like, come on. Where's my taco? Oh, man, I'm sorry, dude. We can go back and get some more. <laughs> Yeah, it's good. Charles, he will eat your tacos. I will eat the taco, baby. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is really great. You guys, you can go out and see if you can find it. It's worth it for the price of the low, low, less than 40 bucks. You can't beat that. I mean, you can compete with it because truthfully, when it comes to the, the, the price kings, ain't nobody messing with wild turkey. Yeah, it's very great too, but this Man, that, that nose, dude, the bubble gum on this one. Yeah, this is good. This is scary good. Like this is yeah. this is scary good. This is and this is why you drink whiskey because whiskey will stop you from over drinking. You drink something else, you be like the soda pop tasting other spirits. You be too inebriated before you know it. This you can kind of sense it coming and you can mitigate going too far. And um, I can tell you more beautiful things. You know, I can tell you, you know, I'm. I'm, I'll, be your, I'll be your bounty hunter. <laughs> I'll be your private dancer. You can call me Boba and you can rub on my fit. <laughs> but I'm about to uh, drink this so when I go into the Sardak pit, they don't want to eat me. Anyway, hand solo shot for us. A Han, how you said. And, um, you know, Boba where? <laughs> I'm joking. That's Empire Strike uh, Return of Jedi. You know, hand can see. You knock Boba into the Sardak pit. Yeah. All right now, people. I'll catch y'all all later. This is darn good, darn good, darn good Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey from Kentucky. Not New York City, not Louisiana, not Tennessee, not California, but Kentucky. <laughs> All right, people, have a great one.